Greetings and thank you so much for the opportunity to come to you. We begin another week together as we journey each day of this week in the Word of God and in prayer together. Thank you for the opportunity to do that. This week we're going to focus on this theme of strengthening our inner man. We've been talking about the human spirit and how important the human spirit is as we reflected on it by looking at the various analogies and pictures in the Bible. Uh, we want to develop that further to answer this question, how can I become strong in my spirit? How can I strengthen the inner person? You know, when we think about the Lord Jesus, and this is something quite challenging for us to think about, that the incarnate Son of God, when God became a man, and He walked on the earth, the Bible had this to say about Him in Luke 2 and verse 40, it says, the child grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon Him. That means Jesus, as He was growing as a natural human being, in the natural, He's growing as a human being, there was something that was happening to His, his spirit. It says he was becoming strong in spirit. And, and that's something really deep to think about. This is God who became man and yet in his spirit he was being strengthened. That's something to think about. And Paul the Apostle writes in Ephesians 3.16 that, and he's praying for the believers in Ephesians. He says, I'm praying that God would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man. So he's praying, I want you to be, become strong in your spirit, in your inner man. And of course, by the Holy Spirit. So he's talking about strength, being, be gaining strength in the inner man. So we want to answer this question. How do I become strong in the inner man? Now we understand how to become strong physically. You know, you have the right diet, you do the exercise, you do certain kind, go through certain exercises, you can strengthen your physical man. Same thing intellectually, we know you can, you know, get some training, learning, etc., and strengthen yourself in the mental realm. But how do we strengthen ourselves in the spiritual realm? I want to share with us seven things we can do. Number one, very quickly for today, is we fellowship with God. So strength in the inner man comes as we fellowship with God through His Word and prayer. That means we are communing with God, we are fellowshipping with God through His Word. So we feed our inner man with His Word, we pray, and through fellowship with God, being with Him, we are strengthened. The scripture that we are all familiar with is that when we wait upon the Lord, we are renewed with strength. We can mount up with wings like eagles. We can run and not be weary. We can walk and not faint. But we are fellowshipping with God. We are renewing our strength. So that's the first thing. Taking time to fellowship with God. We'll talk more about this as we continue through this week. Let's pray. Father, we ask that each of us will be strengthened with power in our inner man by your Spirit. Show us how to do that as we journey through your Word. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.